quite a buzzy feel about uh, the MCG from the start of the day, which, as I say, is something of a surprise, given it's not a big crowd. Of course, there's an awful lot happening in sport uh, in Melbourne this week, and Boxing Day test isn't a mile away. Now, 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 now. Steady as you go. Shane Watson was never going to drop that. Never, never, never. Chamara Silva won't like it one bit. And the man at the other end, Kuma Sangakara, his captain, may like it less. I like the way neither of the batsmen looked at one another when he was walking out. Watson worked very quickly to get under it and steady himself. And took it comfortably great technique four for 84 well replicating the australian innings sri lanka who seemed to be in command just a moment ago have now lost a couple of wickets in quick succession xavier doherty's done the damage on debut picking up uh, joe wardner and now uh, chamara silva great to see left arm orthodox uh, dearth of them in uh, the international game at present don't see enough of well, not a dying art, but not a fashionable art. Sangakara's on strike because the batsman. Yeah! Oh, the a ripper! Well, if Sangakara was crossed with Chimara Silva, he might just be livid with himself. Xavier Doherty, how easy is this game? He's thinking it's taken until I'm 27 to get a game. Why didn't you pick me years ago? Three for three, he's on a hat trick. And that is the big, big wicket of Sengakara. Got himself way across his stumps. Bango the stumps, 49 to Sengakara. It's five for 84. Sri Lanka in trouble now. I noticed that uh, Kuma Sengakara's got the name Murli Duran on his back. Enough said. Ball spins a long way. That ball is pitched maybe on the edge of the footholes, so about to six inches outside off stump. It doesn't justify the stroke, not by any means, because Sangakara's left his stumps far too exposed. But credit to the bowler for the amount of spin. He's also been uh, the man behind the run out of Utal Taranga, so four of the five wickets that have fallen have been directly affected by uh, Xavier Doherty. That is a very good way to start your international career. Five for 84, the required rate only 4.8 and over because Sri Lanka have gone along at a fair lick. But half of them are gone. Now, Xavier Doherty on a hat-trick. There's the first one. Uh, the second one. The first one was uh, Jai Warden. Now, this is the second one of these two so uh, we're now awaiting the hat trick they're the wickets in consecutive balls first uh, Chimara Silva then Kuma Sangakara a little earlier Joe Wardner went a couple of uh, attacking fielders a slip and a silly point is it no a slip and a gully by the look of it Pereira on strike to Sara Pereira. Plays it well. He did it. He's out of the middle of the bat. It was a solid stride, but uh, outstanding performance from Dowdy. Michael Clark's feeling fairly chuffed with himself as well, bringing him into the attack. Just felt that uh, a bit of variation, a slowness of a spinner would be in order shortly. And in the second over, it's been. Great turnaround for Australia, 5 for 84. Xavier Doherty, 3 for 3. <laughs> He's loving it. Without a semblance of a bad one, I might add, in those two overs. 5 for 84, good stuff. What a turn. It has changed. And there is plenty of time in 50 overs. As you were saying, Mark, the ebbing and flying of a 50 over game is uh, fantastic. And there we see. The old-fashioned rush of blood to the head from Silva. And uh, a 
the next ball. He gave himself too much room. Just trying to... Did it get a touch on the bat on the way through to the stumps? Very close, Rich. He wasn't far from it at all, and you could see how he opened the blade. He was just trying to punch it up in the air a little bit, wasn't he? Just get you it know, ever so fine. But uh, element of risk was huge in the end, and he made the mistake of not hitting it. A little quicker than one might expect of uh, a spinner looking to give the ball some air and let the ball spin he he's got a, a, a an ordinary first class record and it's uh, very much as specifically as a one day cricketer that he's most admired and now selected averaging at just a fraction better than 50 and the strike rate of 83 in, in first class matches four day matches